So this was our first keto dinner, which was a beef roast and some marinara sauce that was low carb and I cooked it in the Instant Pot. It was super simple to cook. So I set the Instant Pot to saute and added some olive oil, probably like two tablespoons, and I put the beef in there to sear, which I should have seasoned it before I put it in there, but I forgot. But it still ended up tasting delicious. Then I seasoned it with a little bit of garlic powder and just liberally kind of sprinkled it on there. Um, I didn't measure it or anything. And then I used some sea salt. Once it's seasoned um, and seared on the other side, which you can tell I needed to sear it a little bit longer, I go ahead and flip it. And since I forgot to season the first side, I went ahead and seasoned it now. Then I just pour this jar of marinara sauce on top, which is, I believe, a garlic and basil sauce, and it's really low in carb and it ended up tasting amazing. Then I just made sure the lid was on and the steam thing was off and I put it on manual for an hour at high pressure and it turned out really well with that temp and time. And then I started on some Brussels sprouts which I had to cut the tips off the ends of them and cut them in half and I also decided to use up some broccoli that I needed and I ended up using both bags of Brussels sprouts so I could use them for lunches and stuff for later on in the week and then I just tossed them together in this bowl here and yeah then I added some olive oil and you'll also see me add some sea salt and minced garlic which i use because it's convenient and i just toss it together and it turned out really really tasty that way i ended up having to need more olive oil so i added it like halfway through cooking but that's fine you can always kind of adjust it because you have to flip them and turn them anyway I poured all of them on one sheet pan to begin with, but I ended up having to spread them out more like 15 minutes in, um, in the oven. But you want to have your oven preheated to 400. And if you're gonna do this many veggies, um, spread them out um, on two sheets if you need to and give them some room and some extra oil because that fat's good for you anyway. But um, these definitely needed more room. It was kind of my first time doing this, so I learned um, midway through that they needed more room and more oil. Then I went ahead and seasoned them with some pepper, which I have these super cute little mason jars seasoning like salt and pepper shakers, and they're so cute. Um, I love them. But I put a little pepper on there. Then I 
Then, of course, I put some more sea salt on there. You can never have too much sea salt. It's delicious. The color and the crispness of these is so pretty and so deliciously amazing. It, they were so good, my kids devoured them. Then I released the steam on the Instant Pot and got that ready to release all the pressure so I could open it up um, about 15 minutes later. And this is what dinner looked like. We even had a bunch left over that I could make lunches for the next few days, so I added some cheese in there. If you wanna see more meals that are keto, give this a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, and I'd be happy to do that. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys soon.